lighting friends, Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions and today we're going to talk about the VIA switch, in particular the VIA 12 and demonstrate our ring protection system which is an implementation of EAPS or Ethernet Automatic Protection System and uh, this is very important when you have a large installation that uh, you don't want if everything is going down one piece of CAT5 and there's possibility of a failure you want multiple paths to go from front of house to the stage to make sure that the show goes on. So if you build a topology with a ring using the VIA 12, what you have on the front is lots of places to plug in consoles or passport nodes or any other devices um, and they, uh, they go in typically to the front of your VIA 12 but on the back you have the option of gigabit copper or fiber and Typically with uh, large installations you might use a fiber backbone because it can go a lot further than 100 meters or copper, doesn't matter. But the ring will be built out of these dual ports on the back and um, what happens is data will go out in two directions to the clockwise around the ring and counterclockwise around the ring using these ports on the back. And when there is a failure in the ring, you will not see uh, a, f uh, a glitch in the DMX data stream at all because our ring can heal itself in less than 50 milliseconds and quite often less than 20, which is sub DMX refresh rates. So to demonstrate, I've got a table here that has four VIA switches hooked up in a ring. I have data leaving my Cognito console, which is being powered over Ethernet by this VIA switch. Data goes off in two directions to two more switches that might be in the building, then off to another one, which does distribution into a C-series node, which becomes DMX and goes to my Verilite. So, for this demonstration, I'm just going to put the Verilite on the wall, and it's going to continually do a circle. And I am going to interrupt parts of the ring at different times by unplugging or whatever the DMX so clearly I've unplugged both sides of the ring here so we have an air gap between front of house and stage our data is not getting there but when I plug things back in it will pick up and keep doing a circle so watching that light going around in a circle like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over somewhere between the stage and front of house and I am going to cause damage to the ring. So now, data, because of this master switch has seen that there's been a break in the ring, it starts sending the data to the stage in this situation uh, counterclockwise. So it's now leaving here, going around that way, coming out and making the stage. I'm now going to heal the ring. I'm going to plug it back in this way and there's a message on here saying that uh, uh, there was an interruption in the ring and it has been healed. You don't need to see that. All you see is that the light is doing what it's supposed to. Now I could come over to this guy here and I can unplug it. And again, the light, the data is now going clockwise around the ring. Got to stage with absolutely no interruption. If I heal the ring again, this time, let's do something a little bit more catastrophic. What I can do is I can remove the switch completely. In this case, by removing its power. So this side of the ring is dead. It's healed, it's going the other way around the ring. I can now plug this guy back in. It'll boot up within a couple seconds. The ring will be rehealed. We will start sending the data probably clockwise, counterclockwise, I've lost track at this point. But then you can have even more catastrophic failure. You can take one of the lines like this and a forklift drives over it, cuts it like that, and the data is still going around the ring. And we have a light doing its thing on the stage. So that is uh, our implementation of the ring protection system that's available on the VIA switches. Until next time, thanks for joining me.